Hey everyone. Welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about measures of dispersion. As the name suggests, the measure of dispersion shows the scatterings of the data. It is used to describe the spread of data around a central value. Dispersion is also called as variability, scatter or spread. Common types of measures of dispersion are the range, variance, standard deviation and interquartile range. The range subtracts the smallest number from the largest in a set. Range is equal to maximum value minus minimum value. In this set, the largest value is 12 and the smallest value is 8. So, the range here is 4. Variance is a measurement of the spread between numbers in a data set. To explain variance, let us consider two data sets here. The first data set contains minus 10, 0, 10, 20 and 30. And let's say that the other data set is 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. The mean or arithmetic mean of the first data set is equal to 10. And if we calculate the mean for the second data set, we arrive at the mean 10. If you consider the difference, in the second data set, all the numbers are almost close to 10. But in our first data set, we can see a varied difference. So if you calculate range for these two data sets, for the first data set, we will get 40 by calculating the largest number 30 minus the smallest number minus 10 in this data set. So 30 minus minus 10 gives us 40. That is a minus and minus gives us a plus. So the range for this data set is 40. In the second data set, the largest number 12 minus the smallest number 8 gives us the range 4. From this range, we can understand that the first data set is a more dispersed set than the second data set. Now let us take a look at the variance. The symbol for variance is sigma square. To calculate variance, we have to take each of these data points, find the difference between those data points and their mean, square them and take the average of those squares. Our first data point from the first data set is minus 10. So we are taking minus 10 and we are subtracting mean. Our mean is 10. So we are subtracting the mean from the first data point and squaring them. So now we are adding our second data point and subtracting mean and squaring it. And likewise the third, fourth and fifth data point. So we have summed them up and dividing them by the number of data points. Here we have five data points and we are dividing it by five. Minus 10 and minus 10 is minus 20 and squaring it gives us 400 plus 0 minus 10 and squaring it gives us 100. 10 minus 10 is obviously 0 and squaring it also gives us 0 plus 20 minus 10 the whole square gives us 100 and 30 minus 10 the whole square gives us 400. So divided by 5 is equal to 1000 divided by 5 which gives us 200. Let's now find out the variance of the second data set. Taking the first data point 8 and subtracting it 
with its mean and squaring it and adding the second data point and subtracting it with its mean and squaring it plus it goes on with the same pattern when the calculations are done we get 2 as the variance of the second data set from this two data sets we can find that the variance of less dispersed data set is smaller having understood variance let's now talk about standard deviation the formula of standard deviation is sigma we can easily calculate standard deviation from variance as the formula of variance is sigma square so the formula of standard deviation is square root of the variance let us take our first data set the variance of our first data set is 200 so to find the standard deviation of the first data set we take square root of the variance which gives us square root of 200 that is square root of 2 times 100 that gives us this and the standard deviation of the second data set is the square root of 2 comparing our two data sets the standard deviation of the first data set is 10 times the standard deviation of the second data set the next type of dispersion is the interquartile range the interquartile range is also called as the mid spread the interquartile range is the third quartile subtracted from the first quartile let us take a set of numbers our data set here has nine numbers first we have to arrange these numbers in ascending order let's first take the median we know that median is nothing but the middle number so here the median is 10 as we have odd numbers here there is going to be one middle number and that is 10 interquartile range is finding between the middle of the first half and middle of the second half so to find the middle of the first half let's take 4 and 6 add it and divide it by 2 and here we get 5 and calculating the middle of the second half we get 12 plus 14 divided by 2 which gives us 13 so here the middle of the first half is 5 and the middle of the second half is 13 to calculate the interquartile range we have to find the difference between the middle of the second half and the middle of the first half so we get 8 i hope you like this video please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam and don't forget to subscribe thank you